maybe it's, I mean, I'm sure it's a combination of things, you know, nostalgia for, you know, God knows what relatives I've never met. And I mean, I think everyone wants to know about their past, sort of. And when you have a language that you see as part of your cultural heritage or cultural past, then it's sort of, it's like a physical thing you can, you can have. And it's not just a thought or a memory or, you know, a photo, but it's, it's something you can do and understand. And I definitely feel like, wow, like this is, this language is a part of, you know, essentially what, you know, made me what I am today. You know, this language is the language that, you know, my grandparents, two people in a very minor, very small minority in Maine, both had in common. And, you know, if not for that, like, I mean, where would I be? Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, I think it's, it's not something I can necessarily put to words that easily, and hopefully that will change, but it's, it's a feeling definitely when I speak Yiddish and get to learn about Yiddish.